if you have a drill where the quill can be locked, a good trick is to position the work underneath the drill, clamp the work to the table with the drill, lock the quill, and then apply the G-clamp. With all four stanchion holes drilled, the final drilling operation on the matched assembly is to make the spindle hole. Eventually it will need to be drilled at least 16mm to clear the 15mm spindle, but for the moment we will only drill it to 6mm. The reason for that will become apparent in the next video. If you require to remove any bolts to fit the acrylic into the table, try to remove well, as few as possible and where possible only one. Now we separate the plates. The A plate requires a hole to be drilled for the control of the air injector. The projection on the air injector is threaded M6, so you should drill this hole to M7. Use the templates as a guide to forming the top of the end plate. You can cut off the excess material with a fret saw or Dremel tool and finish with sandpaper. You should end up with something that looks like this. Apply the B plate template to the other half of the assembly and perform the same action of removing the excess material. Once completed, strip the template from the end plate. The next video will discuss the construction of the inner A and B plates.